Hey everybody, I do a lot of build videos on this channel and not a lot of pre-made stuff, but when Amp Aria sent me an email telling me about their new uh, solar generator, I was intrigued because it's got some pretty nice specs for the price. So they sent me one to uh, check out, so let's open it up and see what we got. Accessory <clears throat> box. So as you can see here, we've got 320 volt plugs. We've got 12 volt car socket. An XT60 outlet. USB-C and USB 3.0B. And power switches here. Sign uh, inverter is rated to 1800 watts. And we got a pretty nice screen here. We're at a 50% charge, uh, no input, no output. Looks like we can turn the AC outlets on and off, turn the AC uh, USB on and off. So you've got full control here uh, of the individual ports. That's cool. And here on the back, we have got the AC power input. So the charger is built in. You don't have a separate power brick, which is really nice. It's got a little breaker here, just in case you've got an overload. We got data communication, we'll figure out what that does. And then XT input for solar input. In the accessory box, we've got AC power cord for the charger. We've got an XT60 to MC4 adapter for the solar panel, so that's nice. And we've got a cigarette socket to XT60 so you can charge it in the car. And you've got this cool LED work light down here at the bottom. It's pretty bright. So uh, if you're in a tent or you've got a power outage, you've got a built-in lantern. The USB-C port is, rate, is power delivery rated at 100 watts. So it'll charge your phone really fast or Steam Deck or Switch or small laptops. So let's talk specs. This Amp Aria is a 1500 watt hour power station. And that number is really important. That is the, um, how big is your gas tank? How long will this thing actually run? And getting up over 1500 watt hours, I think is really important because that's the minimum you really need for a refrigerator or for a chest freezer, depending on brand. If you have something around the 1,000 to 1,200 watt area, you after efficiencies, you may not have enough to make it through a 24-hour cycle. So this falls, you know, uh, on the right in the middle between a 1,000 watt and a 2,000 watt hour unit. So you get more capacity, sort of, than other kind of standard items. It has an 800 watt AC input with AC power cord, again, with no power brick, so you don't have something else to carry around, which is really nice. So an 800 watt internal charger means if this thing is completely dead, you, compl you, can, you can completely recharge it in about two hours, which is really nice. You've got a 600 watt solar input. It'll take 12 to 60 volts at up to 10 amps which is basically any panel that you're going to find. Um, I'm going to show you a, a new panel I just got that kind of falls in that parameters, but used panels you get off of Craigslist or Facebook or any folding solar panel should work just fine on this. So at 600 watts, you should be able to recharge this on solar in about two and a half to three hours, depending upon uh, you know how your sunlight is. The unit is capable of 1800 watts sustained and 220 watts surge. So again, that's enough to run microwave, refrigerator, chest freezer, basically any standard appliance that you plug into the wall, this thing will handle. You've got low temp and high temp uh, protection. So if it gets too hot or too cold, it'll shut itself down. And it has a UPS function. This is something that people don't really talk about enough, which is that you can plug this thing into the wall and then plug your chest freezer into this turn it on, turn it into EPS mode, and then if the power goes out, it will automatically flip over to this. So if you're in hurricane territory, 
you can preemptively plug your refrigerator or your chest freezer into this thing as the storm approaches and if power goes out it'll automatically flip to this not every unit has got uh, UPS mode like that so that's a really neat feature that people don't really talk about enough it's also lighter than most other units uh, 30 something pounds so we've got these nice handles on the top so it's easier to carry around so let's plug it in and check out the display and we do have an internal fan here that's kicked on uh, which is not surprising 800 watts is a, a pretty hefty charger so that doesn't bother me it's real quiet it sounds like a refrigerator on idle Let's go ahead and plug a little load into it. My little pedestal fan. Got a wide output right there, 36 watts on low. Uh, we see we've got uh, about 15 hours worth of runtime since the battery is 50% charged. So we've got 15 hours worth of runtime on that little fan. And let's plug the AC back in. As you can see, it's still running, the fan's still running, so I've got hundreds of watts coming in. Uh, the charge time is extended a little bit because I'm using it while it's being charged, but not a problem. Still going over there. So you can obviously charge it while it's being used. Not every unit will do that. Neat. Let's, uh, let's take it outside and plug it into some solar. On the ground right here, I've got my new 200 watt flexible solar panel and it uh, puts out 37 volts at 6 amps. So great match for this. Uh, this is the first time I played with it. Uh, we'll do a full review on this later. So again, uh, the panel actually comes with an XT60 adapter and the power station comes with an XT60 adapter. The screen takes a little bit of time to refresh, and that's okay. So we're getting 100 watts in right now, and kind of climbing. So about seven hours to recharge it from where it's at right now, unless I can uh, squeeze some more juice out of that panel. Here I am tent camping with my flexible solar panel and it's super lightweight which is great and it's an easy great match for this portable power station. Just plug the panel into the side and having the work light makes it uh, really convenient to use inside the tent. Here's my panel on the outside and I'm getting 150 watts into this thing so this is a great match here for Texas. And picnic tabling uh, or tailgating also super convenient for this. So overall, the Amp Aria power station is a really great value. It's got all the common features, really good specs at a great price. List price is $6.99, and I've got an introductory discount code down below. So uh, check out the Amp Aria portable power station.